Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Andrew Bortz does career mode on expert mode in an HRT F1 2011 video. I gotta find a way to condense that intro better. It sounds so contrived, but either way, welcome back. I am at Ruta, aka at Agent Mulder5 on Twitter, aka the. He's back to the main menu. That confused me. AKA the other half of Backmarkers F1 podcast, which we shall be recording this weekend as long as something doesn't come up. I know it's been a while, but life kind of got in the way for both of us. But anyway, the Nurburgring, a track that I love. One of my uh, one of my top tracks, actually. Uh, I don't know what it is about it. It's not, you know, there's nothing really hugely special about it, but I just think it's good. <laughs> for lack of a better description. Of course, you know, the Nordschleife is the most amazing track in the world, and one at which they still ran, but safety first, I guess. The sports is now going through his setup, showing his usual thing. 11-6 setting for the suspension slip is a little bit bizarre, but to each their own. And hopefully we'll see an exciting race. We got some cloud cover. I think we might have a chance of rain. Fernando, baby, is way up on top in P1. I don't know where... Oh, God. P18. Yikes. That's Far Cry from uh, the last race. Silverstone, if you haven't watched it. And, uh, well, he flicked off too fast, but I think we have a chance of it in this race. Uh, Silverstone was very interesting. Bort's qualifying in P1. Spoiler alert uh, from here on out. Having a strong race, defending from Hamilton. Hamilton ended up breezing by, and then he was set for a very, very good result until... Yeah, um, first the penalty for trying to make an over-optimistic pass on Perez. And then, not one, not two, but three punctures at the same time. One front, two rears. I don't know what it is with ports and punctures and tires, but he cannot catch a break. It, it, it's just, it, it's laughable how, how many punctures. Before then, we saw a puncture in Valencia. Uh, just a random puncture. We also had one in Monaco. So that's three races that have been affected by a puncture. Um, <laughs> Monica was also insane because he went right into Truly when Truly decided he wanted to hit a slot gap in the wall. But, uh, yeah, that, that was interesting. Um, here's Bort showing you how he's planning on taking this race. He gets a start on a fresh set of tires, or whatever tire he chooses, but he does have a fresh option set. I don't know whether he uh, intentionally... I couldn't see the qualifying times, but... Uh, I could be wrong, but I think he might have skipped uh, a qualifying session yeah, just so that he knew he had some fresh tires ready for him, hopefully to avoid these puncture problems he's been having. He, he's not really been overdriving them, though. I mean, his pace is respectable, but he's not taken very aggressive lines in, in any of the races he's gotten a puncture. And he, his tires aren't that worn. He's like one or two off of his pit stop, and they just explode on him. I don't know what it is. 40% chance of rain. Probably not going to happen, but, you know, I'm always... I'm, I'm a rain man myself. I, I, I like the rain. I drive better in the rain. Senna was great in the rain. And I'm a Senna fan, so there you go. Standing by. Ayrton, not Bruno. Bruno's crap. But here we go. Let's see how this goes. Could be exciting. Could be boring. Last time I said it was going to be boring was Valencia, and that turned out to be a damn exciting race. So here is the field. Fernando Alonso starts in P1, with whom I'm assuming is Sebastian Vettel right behind him. Bort's in 18th, and his teammate Lehutzi in 19th. So actually, the HRT are beating the Caterhams and the Virgins. Well, the Caterhams and the Barushas are the Virgins and the Virgins. It gets complicated. Anywho, there are the five red lights, and we are away. Catching the suit, flicking up the mix three. Once again, very, very touchy on the first couple of gear shifts. Hitting the rev limiter. Rosberg in P17. What happened there? Bort's breaking very early for this corner. Not wanting to go up somebody. Somebody hit a bollard there. Duressa gets stopped a little bit. Bort thumps him. No damage. Nothing too dramatic. As we see, both HRT are not having a good start as Bort's goes right to the back of Rosberg. Just take Rosberg on the inside. And Barrichello loses a little bit of the rear there. Nothing too bad. Bumps Barrichello just a touch, but he's going to take Barrichello. Oh, Barrichello comes back at him. Boris gets Barrichello on the outside. Did he? Yes. There's the team in Liuzzi. What are you doing up here, baby? Liuzzi's in P16 and passed boards on the outside. Whoa, that's getting insane already. 
As we see, Liu Xi is holding boards up, no doubt about it. Boards wants to get by. He wants to chase the rest of that pack. Is he going to do it going into this hairpin? Maybe. No, he does not have the grip. He's going to do a switch back. Yep, he's got the inside, but critically that puts him on the outside of the next corner. Is he going to be able to clear Liu Xi in time? It looks like it. Yes, Liu Xi falls back in safely. Boards can now chase the pack, but his engine is hot. Whoa, that is smoking. Yikes. Cool that thing, Ports. Got a little too excited there. As now we're catching the midfield at quite a respectable rate, actually. It looks like the uh, uh, front end of the field isn't pulling too much of a gap in the opening stages of the midfield. Somebody else just logged in. So we flick it back down to Mix 2, trying to keep the engine cool, trying to save some fuel as we see the HRT drivers battling hard going into the Schumacher S. Just one more corner to go, and that is lap one done. Board's getting a little bit of understeer there. Nothing too, too horrible, but be interesting to see. It. Whoa. <laughs> Easy there, boys. One gear at a time. Maybe. It's there we go. One lap down. <laughs> so we're already getting crazy. Now catching the midfield. There's Soodle right behind Aresta. Soodle cannot find a way to cut through the field. Uh, see what I can see what I do there. But... Critically, Bortz is on the option tires. How much of this pace, how much of this catching up is due to the fact that, well, they seem to be on other tires than him? That's strange. I don't think I've ever remembered the AI running prime tires. Hmm. Well, of course, they run prime tires, but at the beginning. I don't, I don't, hmm, that's weird. Anyway, you can see the engine's cooling down nicely now. Bortz is pulling hard. He can pull a two-second gap to Barrichello. And now we're catching Sutil. Definitely going to have him in DRS range, so one more lap from now, when DRS is, is activated, we should see boys threes on by. The Ruby is a pretty substantial DRS. As we already see, Soodle is dropping back from the rest. So Soodle does not have the pace. Maybe the rest is on a different set of tires. So we see Bortz almost going out the back of Soodle. Is he going to take him on the inside? No, there's no way he's going to be able to get on the inside here. Even Bortz is crazy breaking, but he probably will be able to take him into the Schumacher S. If he gets a slipstream on Soodle, Remember, he has no curves, unfortunately, otherwise he'd be right behind him right now. Is he going to try to outbreak him? No. Going to play it safe, but he might still be able to get the inside? No, he's not going to go for it there. One bump on that secondary curve, and he'd be flying over to the decapitation is not on the mini today. But critically, we're catching them. Whoa! No, we're not! No! Oh, that's not gone well for Bortz. That is not gone well at all. Yellows are out. Andrew Bortz. Spinning and hitting the wall, ending a very good challenge to Soodle. He could have probably had that position. This race hasn't gone well already as we always go out the back of the no, no, We have to take evasive action to get around the Venezuelan. Just as useless in this game as he is in real life, but we're going to take him on the outside. No, no, he's going to be able to get that. Aldonado holds the position. Forwards. Saw again, I did notice in the setup as we see his inches overheating yet again. Bortz has put a lot more down for us on the rear, trying to correct the snap over steer. He can't get a good set of grip, a good, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Range of grip, there we go. It's either he's under steering like mad going into these corners, or he's getting snap over steer. He cannot get into that happy medium where the car just naturally falls into place. As we see Maldonado battling the Fiuzzi, truly behind. Of course, a little bit hesitant on the corner entry there. I really don't know what that was all about. That was all driver. Now, critically, Bortz is being held up. That's obvious. He's going to be able to get past Maldonado and probably Liuzzi as long as he can... Ooh, that was a messy exit. He's got the DRS. Maldonado has the DRS on Liuzzi. He gets by cleanly. And you know what? That corner exit probably just cost Bortz the chance to get the position, but he's going to take it. Whoa! Fly in a typical Bortz move. Bumps Maldonado, no penalty because Maldonado did not spin. Maldonado is still on the track. Got by Liuzzi. Probably going to be able to take Maldonado going down the main straightaway. But he's still being held up. Still being held up by his car spinning everywhere. And by Maldonado. As we already see a pretty sizable gap to these guys and the rest of the field. The rest of the field is still pretty bunched up though. We're seeing the sharp ender starting to pull a little bit of a gap. But it is not massive. Or it's going to still finish. Whoa! That's a messy gear shift. Yikes. This is very uncharacteristic for Boris. Usually he's bang on with his shifting. Hmm. Maybe this race was done in a bad set of circumstances. Maybe he was sick. I really don't know. Uh, 
Yeah, this is this just seems uncharacteristic for Bortz. Usually it's a lot more solid than this. But be that as it may, we are now on lap four. P19, one second behind Maldonado. Oh, actually, one second in 66 thousandths. For Air Force, you need to get a little bit closer to be able to get the BRS on Venezuela. Hmm. Not how I expected this race to go at all. I expected that, um, we don't, maybe, uh, maybe P18 wasn't a strategy move. Maybe that was Bortz's actual position. He doesn't seem to have the grip. I thought that maybe he would have just done that to try to keep his tires fresh, try to prevent another puncture episode. But you know what? Maybe this is just all he could manage. A very, very bouncy track. Maybe it's just unsettling the HRT. The HRT's aerodynamics aren't quite good to begin with. I mean, maybe just, whoa! Very aggressive on that curve. Nicely held, though. The DRS seemingly doing nothing to Maldonado. He still remains, I would say that's about eight tenths of a second. We'll see in a little bit. Oh, wow, I was completely wrong. I was almost a second in a bit. Yeah, not not gone well. You see now an even bigger gap being pulled between midfield and Maldonado. And Maldonado is actually slowly but surely creeping away from board. Hey, a little bit of a messy entrance there. A very hesitant exit there. Cardis does not have any grip. As hesitant as that was, he's still got understeer as now. Maldonado is two seconds ahead. Bortz is going to have to close quite a significant amount if he wants to get DRS. But even with DRS open, he didn't seem to be getting that much of an advantage on Maldonado. I think it's the Curs. He's in a car without the Curs system. Just cannot get pace on tracks that aren't basically completely higher speed circuits. The car ahead has minor front uh, wing damage. Minor front wing damage from Maldonado. That really doesn't seem to be slowing him down very much now, does it? I'm assuming that was from when Bortz took the dive on the inside of him going into the Senna S. No, the Schumacher S, excuse me. Wrong track. But, um... Yeah. Disappointing. Rather disappointing race. Alonso now setting the fastest time, 134.762. About to be on lap... Five, I've got six, excuse me. Ports not sending a personal fastest time. Getting a bit faster now, 136.4. Uh, a little bit of a move onto the grass or gravel there, but I mean, that's nothing critical. It wasn't horrible. Then many a time, a mini driver. A little bit dicey there. This is that smoke. That is smoke. Looks like somebody has blown their engine. I've never seen anything that happen in my careers. Wow. Right, I think Bortz has some kind of a mod on. That was Sudo, by the way. I'm not sure, but I think he has a, a mod on. Um, if he does, it's, I, I'm familiar with it. Because I've never seen this happen before. Safety car has been deployed for something. So this is just save Bortz's race. Whatever that was, maybe Sudo's car died. Maybe somebody crashed out somewhere along the line. Bortz is still P18. So I'm thinking it was the... Um, I'm thinking it was the Force India of Sudo. It's just stopping on the track somewhere. This is going to give Bortz the opportunity to go on a fresh set of prime tires. Lap 10. He's not going to lose any positions um, from the looks of things. And he should be able to get back up to the snake in time. If uh, they have a good pit stop here. 4.5 seconds. Nothing impressive, but for an HRT, not that bad. Bortz taking off now. This is lap 10. I, I don't know when he came in. I'm assuming he still has one more. Yep, there we go. There's the back of the field. Mort's creep, creep, creeping on up. I'm assuming safety car is in this lap. We shall see. Bort's just flicked it up. His tires are cold, though. This is not going to be a good start at all. Got understeer there. If he tries one of his little trademark dives going into the first corner, it is going to end in end of moon. He does not have any heat in those tires. Come on, boys, warm them up. Oh, that's one way to warm them up. Good braking. No lock. That brake is heat and bleed into the tires. Now they're heated up. Bortz is how far behind Barrichello? 1.6 seconds. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, wait. No, everyone's pitting. That's weird. Why did they pit him during the safety car? Huh. That is odd. 
Zaborts is on warm tires versus everyone else who's just coming out on a set of cold whatever you can put on. That puts Zaborts up to P9, but he's a little bit out of... Wait, no. That was P14. Yeah, that was lap 14. And he came out you know, he's not really that out of sync with everybody. A little bit messy of a gear change there, a little bit of clip in the gravel, but you know, nothing horrible again. The nice thing about this track is, even though the gravel is very close to the racing line, just, you know, a little touch, a couple tenths of a second, but it's not going to burn the race. It's going to help lap 15. Boris really isn't that out of sync with this, though, and if he can take these tires longer, whoa, Alonso blows by, but Boris takes him back! Boris takes him back! Whoa! Fernando did not expect that. Fernando is not faster than you. Wow, that was an awesome pass. Great job, Bortz. Well handled. Only being a few laps difference on the pit stops, and Bortz can extend this, and he's going to be able to hold on to the position. That's Weber and people. Wait, how did Bortz get up into P2? Where did that happen? As Bortz is going to take the lead. Bortz took the lead back from Weber, but he had the lead. What? How did this? What? What? Really how the hell? How did that happen? Whoa. So you see the clouds coming out. We might get some rain. That'll throw an interesting element in this. Weber, drag race with Bortz, bumps into Bortz. Weber's on the option tires. Bortz is on the primes. Is Bortz going to be able to take up on the inside of turn one? Weber almost... What the hell? That move was far too aggressive. My ass, engineer. Weber, break check him. Get out of the way, you cucumber. That's the other driver. Oh, well. Still on with the cucumber jokes, I know, but... I'm, um... What I'm going to end up doing when I go to the U.S. Grand Prix is we see, hang on, Alonso is going to make a move on the inside, and so is Vettel. But Bortz is going to try to block Vettel. Not going to work. Alonso, Vettel. Bortz, Vettel spun! Vettel has spun his car going into the back of Alonso. That gives Bortz P2 back. Whoa! Here we go. This is going to get interesting. The clouds are really rolling in now. I would not be surprised to see rain within the next 10 laps. Bortz is hanging with Alonso. I don't know what the uh, AI's pit stop phase is going to be like, but with Bortz critically going to go on to that second set of options, at the very end, he might have a speed advantage on these guys. That's all if Petro just went up his ass. Did he lose his wing? I was too busy yammering. I couldn't hear the game. <laughs> but if it starts to rain, this could be really interesting. Uh, fuel's optimal. That's a good sign. Uh, what is that? 14... Ooh, that's not that good. And Felipe maybe is going to take Bortz on the inside. But is Bortz going to hold his line? No, nope. Felipe has gotten by with the DRS. Bortz is going to take up on the inside. Bortz is going to outbreak Felipe Massey going into the Schumacher S. But he's going to outbreak himself. Oh, that was messy. Whew. That was nicely held. I don't know if Massey sustained any damage from that. He definitely did bump into the back of Bortz, but it didn't seem that hard. Bortz is doing a great job defending. Uh, much like Silverson, one driver got by quite easily, but the rest are having a much harder time. Is Felipe Massey going to make a move on the inside? Whoa, Felipe is angry. He does not appreciate having Boris break, outbreak himself, but Boris is going to try it again. Boris is going to get to the inside of Massa, going into the Schumacher S, outbreaks himself once more, but holds the line is the most important thing. He has held the line. And his reward for that is going to be better than some shittily put together explanation of endings that should be changed in the first place. It shouldn't have existed in the first place. Dumbasses. Ah, Mass Effect. You were once so good, but now you failed. As Felipe Mass is going to take boards on the inside of turn one. Ooh, nice move there, Felipe. As we see, Weber is going to try the exact same thing, but the Aussie doesn't quite get the run he needs. Boards cannot get the grip going into the second corner. Cannot stay with Felipe. Felipe looks like he's going to pull the way. And, uh, and yeah. Great defense from Boris. As we see, Weber's going to take the outside. Weber is going to make it up. Nah, it's not going to make it sick. Now, if the AI's on a second set up. Ooh, Weber just bumped into Boris. That move puts Boris a little bit out. And Schumacher. Schumacher up in P3. That's impressive. Go Schumi. German bastard. As you see, here's Heidfeld, the other German bastard. The one who catches his car on fire and is useless. Going to try to make a move on the outside. Not going to happen. Boris is a little bit of oversteer. Nothing he can't handle, though. A little bit of understeer, then, going into that X complex. Same with Schumacher, though. Going to get the DRS on him. Battle sets the fastest time of 132.7. So that damage or uh, that spin didn't do anything for his confidence. Here we go. DRS is open. Schumacher is going to be caught soon. Not going to be able to make a pass, though, unless Boris is insane and suicidal. Take a judging from some of his other overtakes. He's absolutely right me. He's going to go for the inside. But Schumacher's going to let him give him plenty of room. Schumacher comes back on him, though. Hey, watch it there, Schumi. Last time you did it to Barrichello. Eh, it didn't end so well for you, now did it? But no penalty for anyone here. 
Sports is going to be able to stick on the back again without the curse. With the curse, it could have been right up the back of Schumacher. And easily could have. I couldn't catch what he said in four laps. Was that you know, Schumacher pitting or was that rain? I don't know. As we're going to take a move on the inside here into the first hairpin. Not going to work, though, as we see everyone and their mother wants to get past Andrew at this point. Andrew is massively holding up the field, but it is for a position. He is entitled to defend his position. Speaking of that kind of stuff, what I was going to say about um, a cucumber, I am taking, I'm going to take a cucumber to the U.S. Grand Prix, and I will see if either Narain or Seth will sign it. I will get that on video and um, post the results when that happens. I'll get their signatures first, though, so that way, in case it all goes south, I won't have to worry about, you know, not getting an autograph. As we see, Perez is making a feisty move going on the inside, cutting the corner a little bit. But, uh... Everyone pretty much holds the line. Stays on track. Stays out of the wall, most importantly. So now Perez has gone by. Kabayashi is in P5, so this is a crazy grid. The race ended right now with the Alonso, Massa, Schumacher, Perez, and now Kobayashi! Kabui is going on the inside. Bortz is going on the inside. Everyone's going on the inside. Never thought I would work in an Oprah reference on one of these casts, but, well, there you go. Bolt says lost all grip in his tires. Probably trying to hold out to see if this rain will come down, but he needs to come in now. There is no way he's going to be able to continue. Lap 30, which is scheduled pit stop. Coming in one lap early. Going to get a fresh set of rubbers. Is he going to go for the options and hopes that it rains? No, he might just try to stay out on tire. Or did he come in? He went 20 laps. 20 laps on a set of primes. With the cooling temperatures with the cloud cover, he just might be able to make 30 laps on one set of primes. If they're fresh, yes, they are completely fresh, he might be able to do it. That would be insane, but he could do it. Um, yeah, I wonder if this way he's going to try or if he's going to come in for his regularly scheduled stop for a set of options. Let's see, P14 is where he came out now, so even with all of that insane defending, even with him holding up the grid, and even with the way his start went, he has still gained five positions from where he was when the whole calamity started breaking out. Now everyone else is coming into the pits. Forces up to P12 on Kobayashi. Very close to Kobayashi, by the way. Um, so now that everyone's are making their pit stops, DRS is not working. Okay. So Forces DRS has just cried enough. Thankfully, it's not as tires this time because... Uh, if it was, I would just give up on Andrew. This guy seriously has to be the unluckiest driver ever. Every time he has a good position, something happens. Bit of a messy line there. Messy exit. Pass a second. He's getting the AQ for the TRS, but he can't open it because the Spandy are worthless. When he goes by board, it's going to take him into the Schumacher S. Not as exciting as the other moves he's made in there, but still very well handled. As we now see... Because my Jeff Kobayashi, very slow going into that corner. Boris almost going up his ass. Uh, was that a back marker? Yeah, there was a back marker mixed in there. It was a Marusha or a Virgin, whatever you prefer. Boris is three laps down on his field projections and still in the lead lap. Uh, DRS, the, the light's blinking, but does he have the wing open? Uh, I think he does. Is he going to be able to? Yeah, he's going to be able to take Kobayashi easily alongside of him. Getting very, very slippery in there. But nothing Boris can't handle. He's dealt with worse. Uh, Australia, Malaysia, China, Monaco. Pretty much every race seems to have this snap over steer. I could just imagine how frustrating that would be. We have understeer everywhere except for, you know, the exit of one corner. And then it spins you right around, maybe. See, Boris is now stuck between Heidfeld and Kobayashi. Kobayashi being up a damn good fight to get by, Andrew. Here is Kovalainen. P19. There's Ports going into the gravel. Ports is going to get the DRS, though, thanks to Kobe. Kobe makes a mistake, and Ports, whoa! Ports having to go evasive because of Kobe's mistake and almost spins his car. Very nicely caught there. Bit of a Menchi. Me Menchi. He has a Menchi approach into the Schumacher S, uh, but well handled. Two laps down now on the fuel projections. Ports is having to take it easy with the engine revs to try to save some fuel. Now 24 laps to go in the Grand Prix. Everyone and their mother is trying to truly train, get by the truly train rather, on the inside of turn one. Bortz is going to defend nicely. Should have said Bortz train. Bortz is not your own truly. He's faster than that. Kobayashi looks like he's a stain some fucking damage at some point. Hamilton's the fastest time of the race with a 131.9. 
Kobayashi goes back on the inside. That was a bad time to take a drink. But boards. Oh, Kobayashi. Okay, that was insane. Wow. Nice. Well done. 39. Wartz is four seconds behind Kobayashi. Now Kobayashi got by apparently at some point. Rosberg on the outside. Who is this? Time history hasn't updated yet. Wartz going to make another move down the inside. Schumacher S. Unlike Britain, he is getting decent traction going into the nest. Um, not exactly what you would want. It seems to be very unstable. One lap he'll have it, the next lap he'll lose it. But for now, he's able to make all sorts of moves. Felipe, baby, is in peanut. Whoa! Felipe rather slow. What happened to Felipe? He, he's now in P. What was that? He's now in P12. He was running right behind Fernando. Hmm. I wonder what happened to Massa. Something, obviously. So you can see Bortz is coming in for a set of the option tires. Should take him to the end. No rain this race, it seems. It's a bit sad, a bit disappointing, but it's been a good race. And we still got 13 laps to go. Anything could happen. And here we go. Off go the tires, on go the tires. Nothing too shabby. Five and a half seconds exactly. Uh, Alright, that is a bit shabby. It's now four is in the between track. who... Fel is that Fernando? No, okay, Fernando is... Lapping sports, sports all the spins it. Too many reds there, put down too early. Vettel is in P17. The cucumber. Maldonado is in P15. Massa briefly appeared there. Maybe Massa took Maldonado going into a corner. So, um, Massa would be about P14, 13. Something had to happen to Felipe. No way you lose that many slots. We see Bortz get a little bit sideways there. The cucumber gets by. Uh, does he have a puncture? No, it would not appear as though he does. The Bortz, even on optimal fuel, flicks it up to Rich. He wants Vettel. He wants to take the German. Let's see how this goes. Part 2 of HRT versus Red Bull. And it looks like they're pretty evenly matched. Going into the last corner before the DRS activation zone. Well, the second to last corner even. Wow, okay, I need more coffee. As we see, Bortz gets to the RS on Vettel, flicks it open. Is he going to try for a move going into the Schumacher S? Uh, catches Vettel massively, <coughs> but <coughs> critically, <coughs> sorry. Oh boy. Critically, does not get by. And the next couple turns in Sector 1 is where Vettel should be extremely strong. Sebastian should have no problem pulling away from Bortz now. Uh, could have been exciting if Bortz was able to get alongside. But whoa, actually, Vettel was rather slow going in there, and it is now lap 49 of 60. I don't know how many of these guys up here. Well, actually, whoa, that's a lot of cars. Bortz can still have a decent place. Everyone's going to have the DRS on everyone, but unless someone else makes another mistake, Bortz should be able to stream by a few. There it goes. Vettel has it on Maldonado, who has it on somebody, who has it on somebody. And let's see what Port's gonna do on the rev limit. That's not going well for the engine. He's gonna fight Maldonado. He's got. He's tapped Maldonado. Is he gonna be able to get him going in? Shoot. No, he's gonna have to get him on the first turn. But he gets by Metal. And almost Maldonado in one corner. And nicely held though. No slip slip stuff. Port's on the option tires. I swear I thought I just heard a puncture. Thank God it's not a puncture. Otherwise, uh, going by. Whoa! Very messy move by Vettel there. Vettel, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing, you cucumber? Massa sets the best time of the race with a 137. A 130.7, even a 137 would be horrible. As Boris is now trying to get past Maldonado, but the cucumber keeps running into Andrew. And Maldonado, and everybody. Whoa. I don't know what Vettel is doing, what he is on. Maybe there's a new drug out in Germany that's really popular with all the sports stars. I don't know. Someone give me a urine test. Rain in 15 minutes. Well, at this rate, that's going to be after the race is already done. So, rain did come, but a little too late for this race. Although the temperatures are doing good things for his tires, so they're not going to wear as fast. And now the port seems to have been able to figure out his little snap over to problems. He could be in for a really good finish. Midfield is pretty bunched up. No way he's going to be able to catch the sharp enders. But, I don't know. Points to finish? 
Maybe. Depends. He's going to have Maldonado in the Sumac RS. I can just sense it. I can feel it. Morse is going to go for it. Maldonado is going to try to hold his position. Is Morse going to swing on the inside? Yes, he does. There we go. A little bit That's messy. Ooh, that's actually well handled. Nice. I always think he's going to hit that second curb. If you do that, ooh, you are screwed. So you see, Boards has now catched the slipstream of Wemmy. All the Suarez in P12. So who's in P13, I wonder? It's Duresta. Remember, his teammate Sudo blew his engine. Duresta having a good race. Seaboards go around the outside of Wemmy. He's going to. Oh! Whew. That's a Kamui slide going into that corner. And he's got P14. Wow. Seven laps to go now. A lap down if you have objections, but Bortz is a lap down, so that's okay. And catching Duresta quite quickly. Very quick on the gear shift, sir. Ran in 10 minutes, son. Again, that's going to be after the race is over. And Bortz is going to have the DRS. Opens the DRS. Is he going to have Duresta going into the Schumacher DRS? Let's see. Schumacher, uh, Duresta defends. Bortz. Nice. Good aid success. Takes Duresta. P13 is now in Andrew's hands. How many cars are in this little bunch up here? I think at least two. Is there going to be a third? Boots could still have a points finish. The rest are going to make a move on the inside. Boots now two laps down in his field projections. You need to check that, Andrew. Don't run out of fuel. Nope. Duress is not going to try to shoot one down the inside. Boots is now going to okay, be able to fight. Someone's coming out of the pits. Is that a back worker? Maybe a back marker had some issues. Oh no, it's Barrichello, it's for position. Barrichello, P11, just came out of the... Oh, no, 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 Golden Boards, no! 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 Felipe, baby, and Vettel, oh! Into the back of Sebastian, take that, Cucumber. So now, Boards could have been challenging for a points finish. Now he's gonna be challenging to regain what he just lost. Ended up he did hold, wait, actually, no. Oh, so, oh yeah, that's Nembrosa. He's left. Why are people coming into the pits this late, and why is everyone bunching up so much? Vettel, Massa, Duressa, maybe. No, Aldiswari. Oh, it's Kovalainen. Kovalainen is bunching up all over here. Hits Felipe, baby. Oh, going in. The Aldiswari. There, that guy. Passes him. Is he going to get by Duresta? He's caught everything else that he's lost. If he gets by Duresta, he'll be in P12. Then he only has two more cars to go. And Alexia looks like there's a bunch of two cars up there. We have three laps to go. Bortz is flying. A little bit of understeer there. Oh, shut up about the rain. It's not going to come in the middle of the race. It's over. Three laps to go. Bortz could actually still have a points finish even with that last second spin if he's able to clear the rest fast enough. He is on options. I think most other people are on primes, so that could play into it. I think most of them probably gone for a two stop. Bortz went for a three. Let's see if it works out for him. Duresta clipped in the grass a little bit there on the inside. Boards does not have the DRS on Duresta. Vettel has the DRS on Boards. Vettel's going to fly up the inside of Boards. If he swings back to the outside, Boards is it most definitely going to try an inside pass. There he goes. He's got it to the inside. He's got it. He's whew, almost lost the back end of the car there. That was this close to being a spin. But held on very nicely. His aerodynamics finally did something good for him. A little bit of a graze on the gravel there, but nothing too critical. Porsche is just going to easily drift to the inside. Vettel is going to keep trying to go on the inside, though. Watching Sebastian. There's a wall there. What's Porsche going to do? Is he going to try to outbreak Vettel? Vettel's got the inside line. Vettel's by. Vettel has passed Andrew. Going into turn one and boom, opens up a massive gap already. Vettel is flying. He's tired of being behind the HRT. Who's this? All the Suarez right behind him. So P14 with two laps to go. And still, anything could happen. It could start pouring rain and everyone could fly off the track. You never know. I doubt it though. This isn't Malaysia. It's been an exciting race. It's been a very exciting race. Let's see how it ends. Forts started in P18. Dropped to P19. Had to come in early due to a safety car. No point in not taking advantage of that. Got himself all the way up to P1. Then started falling back. Held P2 for quite a long time. They got passed by Felipe and everyone else. And here comes, oh, Aldous Rory wants P15, 14 even. 
Gonna hold the inside line. Bortz is gonna try to take him on the outside, then flick to the inside. He's got him. Aldiswari stays P15. Battle stays P13. After that, it's just been a defensive battle, though. Bortz trying to hold what he can. Had a chance of gaining a few positions there, uh, but that was ruined by a spin. And it's just raining. It's just light rain. I can't tell. For some reason, my video wouldn't buffer higher than a uh, 360 revolution, resolution rather. So I really can't tell. I think it is raining. It shouldn't make that big of a difference in the course of one lap, though. Everything should be fine. Or it's not only one lap down on field projection, so he is fine. He will be able to finish this race. It is raining, yes, okay. It might get a little bit slippery there, but nothing anybody should It should be pretty much steady as she goes. Metal has already opened up a massive gap to boards. But lying away. I'll swear try all he might to get this position back. After boards took pretty much everybody going in the first couple of corners after being held up by Kovalainen. Let's see, what does all this do? He'll have to be RS, that's for sure. Everyone is still on dry tires, obviously, and it's still dry enough to have a DRS opening. Now, Bort's going defensive, cuts off Aldiswari. He's going to try to hold the inside line. Aldiswari goes to the inside. Someone else is going to the outside. Eh, not going to try it. It's a P14 for Andrew Bortz. A well earned P14, I got to say. Not exactly where he wanted to be, but still four, lap, four places up even on where he started. And a hard fought result. P14 for Andrew Bortz. Pretty interesting race, I gotta say. Fast lap of 132. Pretty much dead. Let's see how they all shook out. Alonso from Schumacher. Schumacher and P2, respectable spot. From Weber, from Perez. Very good, Sergio. Petrov, Heidfeld, Button, Hamilton. McLaren seems to be good, doing too good in board this season. Rosberg, Kobayashi, Barrichello, Duresta, Vettel. Aldiswari, Massa, Maldonado, Bueni, Liuzzi, Glock, Kovalainen, Ambrosio, Truly, and Suitable Most did not finish the race. I don't know why I just did that accent, but I screwed up one pronunciation, so I figured go with it. Hamilton is following Weber in the championship, and you can see how the rest shake out. Bortz is in P14 now, having been tied with Kobayashi in the last race. Kobayashi scoring ahead of Bortz, thereby jumping him in the standings. As we see, the HRT is still doing respectable in the Constructors' Championship for a backmarker team. Well behind the Sauber, but double the points of a Force India, more than double. Williams is being useless as they are in re Oh, fuck. Ah, damn it. Shit. 